Hi, welcome to Misty's Country Cooking. Today we're going to be making chicken fried steak and biscuits and gravy. And these are my ingredients. I have cube steak I cut cut into nice little small pieces. And I've got my white flour and my wheat flour. Oopsie. And a little homemade butter, my wheat gluten, and my baking powder to help my whole wheat flour. And I got a little milk and water for my liquids. All right, let's get started with our meat now. I'm going to take and I'm going to put a little salt on my meat. I like to use real salt, like I've said before. This real salt's derived directly from the sea, and it still has all of its minerals. You can see it's kind of got the little brown specks in it. That's because it's that's because it's the minerals that's in it, and it doesn't make you swell like normal table salt does. A little black pepper on it. Good, plenty of it. A little zatarans. Give me a little bit of a little bit of spice. All right. Now I'll dredge, dredge this in the flour. Put it over here. All right, let's get this meat to frying. We're gonna put this in here. And while we're putting all this in here and letting this fry, I've got me two skillets ready today. That way we can get it all done. And it really doesn't take that long to fry because the meat's not very thick. The main goal is just to get it crispy and brown on both sides. Let's see here. This skillet full. Hot grease. Let's fill this skillet up real quick. And as you know, this the bottom of my stove is my bottom plate's always a little hotter than the top. So I always cook my biscuits up high here so that way they don't burn. Alright. I'll get a lid on these and then We'll let those cook, and while we let those cook, we'll get our biscuits going. All right, let's get to making these biscuits now. I'm going to put me a, about a cup, about a cup of white flour in there. Maybe a little more. Let's get us some wheat flour added to it, about a half a cup or so. I'm sorry, y'all, that's not a good measure. I guess what you call that, about a half cup, cup maybe. A little of my baking powder in here, double acting baking powder, a little bit of wheat gluten, cut that wheat flour rise. And I'm gonna mix that together a little bit. I can mix it together and just kind of feel and see if that's how much I want. If I want a little extra flour in it, and I do. Set that to the side for in a minute. Used to roll them out with. All right, let's get our butter in here. My homemade butter, it's been cold and I chopped it up. Cold ingredients make good butter. Make good, sorry y'all. Cold ingredients make good biscuits, I've always said. Let's mix that up a little bit. And same here, since it's cold, you're gonna have to kind of just blend it with your fingers. Just part of it. I like a pie crust. You want it good and cold ingredients. It's a nice, soft, fluffy, flaky biscuit. Let's get those mixed in together there real good. Down a little bit. I like to use a little milk. A little milk. Mix it up. Let's see here. All right. Always better to get too dry than you can wet it up. If you wet it up, you got to just keep adding more and more flour. Just give us a little water here to go with it. It's good, nice cold water. But you do want a good moist dough, though, to have a good moist biscuit. Too dry dough is kind of, here's your dry biscuit. All right, let's see here. Now, let's get us some flour right here on the table. A little more there. Get that out. Since it's a little moist, a little more flour there, I'm going to knead them. Knead them gently together. Oh, there, I know that less. Get them soft. You feel they're going to hold together. Let's see. 
You can kind of tell after you've done it so many times what texture you want it to be. Flip it over where you got your nice smooth round dome. Flatten it out a little bit. Your rolling pin. Roll it out. And my biscuit cutter, which is very good for lots of things like chopping pecans. Throw it over here to the side. And I toss them around there. Mix the rest of this up. Considering you're making gravy, and anytime you make gravy, you always want to make a few extra biscuits because if you don't, then what you got to put on your gravy. And with chicken fried steak, a lot of times they like to just put the meat right in a biscuit. So you got them just for this, that, or whatever. Alright, just about got it. One more little batch. Alright, get my butter. I'm going to take this over to the skillet. Hot skillet. That skillet is very hot. So folks, what I'm going to do, so my biscuits don't burn fast on me, I'm going to take it off this stove. For just a minute. How hot and good that butter is. Take them right fast and get done. Alright. We're just going to pack them in there good and tight. No matter how tight you get them. Here. I'm gonna squeeze one more in there. Not too pretty, but they taste mighty good. Let's get these back on. And then let me get my lid. Alright, I got my bacon effect. Okay, we got the lids on these in here. Well, let's check these steaks just to see how fast they're cooking. Ooh, nice. You're getting crust building up. Here's my secret on a wood stove is you need to take and see because that's your hottest part. So we're going to take and spin these around. Careful, you'll get burned. And that way, see those are real close over there, but these aren't quite there yet. I'm cover them back up. And once you do turn them for the last time, you don't want to do it no more because you're going to crisp it on up. We'll be back here just a little bit to check on our food and see how well it's going. All right, let's check this meat. It's time to turn. I'll take a few videos. Looks mighty good. And this is just about done. All we gotta do is just let this crispin up on this side. And then I'll take all this out and I'll get rid of a little bit of this grease. And then I'll make some gravy right in here because it gives it such good flavor. Turn these. After this to be the skillet, I'll be making my grease my gravy in. I do believe this batch will be done a little bit sooner. Not much. And really, this is a pretty easy meal, and it doesn't take that long to cook if this is all you're making together. Just got a little preparation in it, that's all. All right. All right, we're going to let those finish up cooking without the lid on them, and then I'm going to get ready and check my biscuits here in just a few minutes. All right, let's check these biscuits now. I do believe they're ready to turn. Slide them on over here. Now, there's been times I've made biscuits, I'm able to flip the whole batch, but sometimes they have a tendency of breaking. So if I can just get them in half, half to the side. Flip these over. Go. Let's get the rest of these. Flip them over. Back in there this one that went to jump away fall apart on me it's okay because it can be a gravy biscuit instead of a meat biscuit all right let's 
Put these back on there. Put the bottom of it finish. Put the lid back on for a few minutes. And this, this meal is just about done. I'll get all this off and then I'll make us some gravy. All right, it's time to get this meat off now. It's definitely done. Some of them are going to be a little crispier. Some will be a little softer, but some of us like them crispy and some like them a little soft. Just depends on which child it is. They're all done. Ooh, and it's hot. Off. Out my way just a little bit. Okay. Mm. I tell you, I know don't want to come out of the pan. I don't want to jump away from me. Nice little booger there. All righty. All right, let's get these biscuits off and then we'll get to making our gravy. All right, here we go. Get my stuff here. Get you some flour going. I'm going to use probably the whole cup. Clean that up really good. That stuff's a little hot. Burn your dress. Not careful. You want a good hot stove for gravy, and then it cooks up just nice and fast. I have to add my a little bit of salt to it. Pepper, black pepper goes good. Quite a bit there. Alright, stir that up good. Add me a cup of milk to it. Let's get us some water going in there. Whew, thick gravy. So it's a little hot. Alright, let's see here. Y'all, what I'm going to do real quick is I'm going to reach down here and I'm going to chuck this hot for now. We're at the end. It's getting hot. Alright. All right, I do believe we're at the right consistency. It's good and boiling and good and cooked. Let's get this off the stove. All right, now. There you go. There's your meal. I don't know if you can see all that. All right, I'll move it for you. There's your some chicken fried, some southern fried steak, homemade biscuits, and homemade gravy. Let's see here. Let's make us a plate. Let's piece that meat. Get us one of these biscuits. A little gravy to the side. And I personally am a butter biscuit person. So I like to put a little butter in my biscuit before I eat mine. And let's see here if I can get me a taste of this without just burning. I'm dipping that little gravy. Mmm. That's good. Hot too. Good. I'll take this biscuit. Mm -mm. The perfect companion for a perfect meal. I hope y'all enjoyed this episode with Misty's Country Cooking with Southern Fried Steak, Gravy and Biscuits. 